And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. We've already had a few scattered showers today, especially in the northwest half of the viewing area. And there's more rain coming up from the southwest, kind of what's left of all the severe weather we've had tonight. Look at all these storm reports out of the southern plains. We're not going to get severe weather, but the rain's coming in. Perhaps even a couple thunderstorms as early as tomorrow morning. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning for us, lasting into part of the day. So this is all kind of lifting northeast or the heaviest Illinois, but we're still going to get in on some of this late tonight, tomorrow morning. So be aware of that at the bus stop with warm temperatures. The record warmest low for tomorrow morning is 60 set 1994. Note all the wind as well, but only low to mid 60s for low temperatures and tomorrow is a warm, humid day with showers, even a few thunderstorms around, but there will be breaks between the rain. It's not like it's raining the entire day. There will be breaks and we should have an extended break that evolves tomorrow evening, but still a lot of wind and it's a 72 degree high. Mind you, the record is 78 set uh, way back see the I'm going through the records in my head. That record would have been set back in 19, uh, 2003. 61 was the day before thinking off the top of my head here and there you see 68 to 73 doing it for highs area wide. So an unseasonably warm day. Normal highs are in the mid to upper 50s and warm on Tuesday. A lot of clouds, a little sun trying to poke through in the morning, but that 66 degree uh, low obliterates the record warmest low temperature of 60 set in 2005. Then it's a 74 degree day. Even with the showers and a few thunderstorms around, that's still only two degrees from the record high of 76 at 1975. So you get the idea. This is abnormally warm and humid. And you can see the showers and storms and all that wind on election day, especially midday afternoon and into the early evening hours with 72 Winnemac to your 75 Attica and 75 at Frankfurt. There's future cast. Here we are at 3 o'clock in the morning. Here we are at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, an embedded little thunderstorm can't be ruled out. 830. Again, some breaks between the rain at times. This is 1130. Finally, 2 in the afternoon. Then we have a lull. Perhaps another wave of a few more showers and storms around. And then we start to shut things down tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. This is 3.30 tomorrow night where it's going to be very warm during the nighttime hours with a howling south wind. Even early on Tuesday morning, the sun may try to poke through 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we watch this kind of a line of showers and storms forming here. A couple showers here, but this line will kind of train over the area just a little bit. And kind of watch that. That could very well have an isolated embedded severe storm or two. So we may very well end up with a marginal risk of severe weather potentially on Tuesday. And then we get into Tuesday night, the rains pull away and then just some broken kind of cumulus clouds coming in from the north on Wednesday. But rainfall wise, yeah, anywhere from I think a half three quarters of an inch in the far southeast to as much as an inch and a third in Lafayette area to an inch and a quarter or perhaps a little more than that from Earl Park up to Rensselaer and Morocco. So you get the idea. This is a good soaker of the rain we're going to get here tomorrow and then right through Tuesday. 74 on Tuesday, 59 Wednesday. Uh, some patchy fog on Thursday and Friday mornings, but the afternoons look good and then it gets more active again. Showers, storms next weekend. Cooler Monday highs only in the 40s before back to the 60s and then eventually more rain later next week.